these days it would be very easy to spend up to around £35,000 or more on a large MPV and still only end up with space for seven people. That may be all you want of course, but even so you might still be tempted by the thought that much the same money could buy you a smart car like people carrier with room for up to nine. That's the proposition on offer from this model, Toyota's Pro Ace Verso. What do you do if a big MPV just isn't big enough? The motor industry's usual answer is to offer up something based on a medium-sized van, which doesn't sound that appealing, does it? But people carriers of this kind have improved a great deal in recent years, and if you want proof of that, then just try this one, Toyota's Pro Ace Verso. Toyota has rarely been a mark to miss an opportunity. That's why it's been so successful over the years. Over the last decade, the brand has been cooperating with French conglomerate PSA Peugeot Citroën in development of a new generation range of medium-sized LCVs. The Gallic marks were keen that the vehicle this would produce should also span a proper super-large segment people carrying MPV, as indeed it did. Peugeot's version named the Traveller and Citroën's tagged as the Space Tourer. There's also a Vauxhall variant, the Vivaro Life. Joining in, Toyota has created a super large MPV from these same underpinnings too, which is what's brought us this Pro Ace Verso. Launched in 2016, this model marked Toyota's return to the large MPV segment, a market sector it had been absent from since the demise of the Previa back in 2007. As the name suggests, this model shares plenty with the Japanese company's Pro Ace van, but we're promised that the driving and ownership experience will be anything but van-like. Smart looks, high equipment levels and sophisticated technology seem to bear that out. Let's look at this contender in a little more detail. As you'd expect, all the Euro 6 engines on offer in the Pro Ace Verso are diesels, and if your needs are mainly based around lighter people carrying duties and short distance urban work, then the entry level 118 brake horsepower 1.5 litre diesel unit may well be quite sufficient. For heavier payloads and longer journeys, however, you'll be needing the 2 litre diesel engine we're trying here, which gives you a lot more pulling power and is available with either 148 or 174 horsepower. The most powerful unit mated to the brand's efficient 8 AT auto transmission. Otherwise, you'll be using a six speed manual. Will you notice once you're properly on the move? Well, yes, it's based on a van but the current generation of medium range vans actually handle pretty well, so this MPV might well surprise you with the way it responds through the bends. That's helped by quite a low center of gravity and steering that though not especially feelsome, responds quite quickly to inputs. But who throws a vehicle like this about? The ride should particularly impress. Special wishbone filtering is provided to dampen the impacts from our country's terrible tarmac, and the variable stiffness springs and shock absorbers should deliver decent levels of comfort whether the vehicle is loaded or unloaded. Refinement is also surprisingly good for such a large square MPV. Plus this model feels quite maneuverable. Testers who'd found the sheer size of some other big MPVs in this segment a little daunting when dealing with narrow country lanes and squeezing through gaps in the traffic were, we found, much more easily able to acclimatise to a Pro Ace Verso. The bonnet's set quite high, but the nose has a squared off shape that we found during our testing programme makes this Toyota easy to place in tight urban situations. The turning circle is pretty tight too, at just 11.3 metres, making this a surprisingly manoeuvrable vehicle for use around town. This model's frontal design firmly identifies it as a modern Toyota, with an upper grille that extends smoothly into the angled headlamp units and a large trapezoidal lower grille surrounded by silver trimming, an aperture that aims to emphasise the car's width and solidity. 
there are three Pro Ace Verso body sizes, compact, medium, and long. In terms of body length, you're talking around 4.6, 5 meters, or 5.3 meters, depending on the variant that you choose. So either way, you're gonna need a very long garage. It's worth noting that the Pro Ace Verso's height of 1.9 meters is low enough to guarantee entry into covered car parks, a relatively rare attribute in this segment. The medium and long length versions will be the variants chosen by most buyers, but even the shortest 4.6 meter long compact derivative can comfortably accommodate up to nine people in all seats. Under the skin, this MPV utilizes the PSA Group's acclaimed Efficient Modular Platform 2 EMP2 underpinnings as the basis to combine its relatively compact exterior dimensions with maximum roominess. Let's take a look inside up front. The dashboard design features clear analog dials and ergonomic switch gear, and there's excellent all-round visibility from the elevated SUV-like driving position. The rather small 7-inch ProTouch center dash infotainment screen is borrowed from PSA, though Toyota has been allowed to put its own blue background on the various screen options. It can offer Apple CarPlay, Android Auto smartphone mirroring, and the usual Bluetooth, DAB audio, and navigation functions, plus optional Wi-Fi too. A sophisticated climate control screen sits just below this monitor. The Combi and Shuttle models have a two-person front passenger seat to achieve their nine-seat capacity. Otherwise, you get the two separate chairs that we have here, each complete with an armrest. Now, if you didn't know this was a van derived design, you might not guess it in this luxuriously appointed leather-trimmed variant anyway. Uh, sophisticated touches further up the range include a head-up display and on auto variants this rather curious circular gear selector dial. Avoid base spec and there's also this useful extra rear child mirror. Families will appreciate the wealth of storage points around the front of the cabin, the various receptacles offering a combined capacity of 58.5 litres. There are three compartments in the doors alone. This big lower bin, a smaller upper tray, and even a corner bin. There are cup holders at either corners of the dash, a lidded cubby in the center of the fascia top, and a small cubby above the gear selector in the center stack with a 12 volt and a USB port nearby. There's a cooled upper glove box, but no lower glove box. Uh, as usual with French originating designs, the fuse box location makes that impossible, but you do get this small open lower cubby instead. There's no upper sunglasses compartment, but you do get ticket clips on the sun visors. Let's take a look in the rear. All variants get three seats in this middle row and they slide forward and back in a 60-40 split plus the seat backs recline. If you specified the optional premium pack uh, or gone for a top VIP model, you'll get this Skyview panoramic roof with its two glass overhead panels and overhead vents, there are four, and overhead climate controls along with overhead reading lights. Seat back knitted pockets are provided, as are seat back trays with indented cup holder points along with an elasticated strap. There's no USB port back here, but you do get this lower 220 volt point on the left in the footwell. On the VIP model, you get sliding um, storage compartments to facilitate multimedia style conferences, and there are captain style chairs in this middle row. Getting into the very rear requires you to push the seat base forward, then retract the seat back forward. How many seats you get in the third row will depend on the spec you've chosen. Normally, as in this mid-range family model, there'll be three seats back here, but in the top VIP variant, there are just two. Once in the third row, there's far more space than you get in a conventional large Galaxy or Charan style seven seat MPV. The van based approach really pays dividends here in terms of both leg and headroom. 
to increase legroom, you can use these red lower tabs to slide the seats ahead of you forward and back. Or if you're broader back, these second row seats can be taken from their lower runners, then turned around to face those in the rear, facilitating impromptu business conferences on the move. A cup holder is provided on both sides, plus on the left there's a 12 volt socket. There are overhead reading lights and dedicated overhead air vents, plus coat hooks in the grab handles. There's a lower 12 volt socket in the base of the interior V pillar and also some blinds on the side windows if you've avoided base trim. Let's finish with a look at luggage capacity. Now, if you'd forgotten that this was a van-based MPV, you're reminded of the fact when you come to raise this vast tailgate. Still, at least it's big enough to corral the kids under when they're getting their stuff out at the back and you're dropping them off at school on a rainy day. If you only want to put small items in, say a sports bag, then if you avoid base trim, your car will come with this useful opening tailgate glass section. Even with all the three seating rows upright like this, there's quite a lot of luggage space back here in this medium length model between 603 and 798 litres, depending on the positioning of the third row chairs. There's this small mid-level parcel shelf along with two boot area lights and two tie down points embedded into the loading lip. You push the third row seats forward by pulling on these two red tabs and fold the seat backs using these black levers. Do that in this medium length model and you can increase your luggage capacity to as much as a thousand litres or 1750 litres with these second row seat backs folded too. Take out the second and third row seats entirely and your Pro Ace Verso could conceivably function as some kind of small removal van. In the lengthiest long spec model, as much as 4900 litres of space could be freed up if you only retained the front two chairs. There are three main grades in the Pro Ace Verso range. Shuttle, Family, which is what we have here, and Top VIP. Shuttle is a nine-seater, available in medium or long body sizes. Family is an eight-seater, offered in compact or medium length guises. And VIP is a seven-seater, available only in long form. Prices for the Shuttle model start from around £33,000, and family spec models like this one start at around £37,000. If you can't stretch to those kinds of figures, Toyota offers a more basic alternative in the form of its Pro Ace Combi model, which is offered in medium length, uh, is a nine-seater, and costs around £28,000. Essentially, it's a basic minibus version of the Pro Ace van. Now, you're probably going to want to avoid the base 1.5 litre 120 brake horsepower diesel engine only offered to combi and shuttle spec buyers and upgrade at least as far as the 150 brake horsepower version of the 2 litre diesel unit. Around £2,500 more gets you the 174 horsepower version of this 2 litre diesel power plant mated to 8 speed auto transmission. Key rivals include the similarly priced, differently badged versions of this design, the Peugeot Traveller, the Citroen Space Tourer and the Vauxhall Vivaro Life. Well, three of these models, like this Toyota, will save you substantially on the two other key players in the super large MPV sector, the Mercedes V-Class and the Volkswagen Caravelle 6.1. Standard kit across the Pro Ace Verso range includes power windows, dark tinted rear windows, dust sensing headlights, front fog lamps, cornering lights, rain sensing windscreen wipers, uh, electrically adjustable heated door mirrors and body coloured matched bumpers plus body coloured door handles. Additionally, all models feature a tailgate with a heater and a rear wiper system, while in the cabin, whichever version you go for, you can expect to find automatic dual zone front and rear air conditioning. Um, smartphones can be integrated using Bluetooth with connectivity also available via an aux in socket and a USB port. Most will want to progress up the lineup at least as far as this mid-range family trimmed model and get themselves a variant like the one that we're testing here. 
at this level, you get a few of the niceties you'll probably want to make this feel less like a minibus. Stuff like a fully carpeted floor, a low compartment luggage cover, uh, side window sunshades, an extra rear child mirror, keyless entry, power folding door mirrors, and an opening tailgate window. Family trim also gets you two key things that you'd have to pay extra for at shuttle level in the range. First, the safety sense package of camera features that we'll cover in a moment. And second, the Toyota Pro Touch 7 inch touchscreen, which acts as a hub for the vehicle's infotainment system, giving clear and simple control of the eight speaker audio with DAB tuner and the optional satellite navigation system. Another advantage of buying in at this mid-range family spec is that you'll then get the opportunity to specify the optional premium pack we're trying here to make your Pro Ace Verso feel very luxurious indeed. Though this pack does cost a not insubstantial £3,300 extra. Still, you get quite a lot in return, including leather upholstery, heated powered front seats with lumbar support and massage, a sky view panoramic roof and a nine speaker premium sound system. The seven seat VIP model adds all the contents of the premium pack. There's also captain style second row seats and a folding lounge table on an adjustable rail system, ideal for on the move business orientated multimedia conferences, particularly if you turn the second row seats around to face those at the rear. And safety? Well, across the range, the cabin is fitted with up to eight airbags and all Pro Ace Versa models are equipped with ABS, with brake assist and vehicle stability control and have been signed off by Euro NCAP with a five-star showing. It's a little disappointing that Toyota's Safety Sense package of camera safety features is only optional in volume of shuttle trim, but most will want it. The package includes autonomous braking, a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, plus adaptive cruise control. The Safety Sense package also provides a head-up display, a color TFT multi-information display, and dashboard storage. If you're expecting a large seven to nine seat MPV of this kind to be expensive to run, then you might be pleasantly surprised by this Pro Ace Verso model's efficiency figures. All the engines use start and stop technology and comply with Euro 6 emissions regulations with the use of AdBlue as a diesel additive contained in a 22.4 litre tank, easily accessed via a filler inlet set into the central pillar. On to the WLTP efficiency figures. The base 118 brake horsepower 1.5 litre diesel engine returns up to 44.1 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and up to 169 grams per kilometre of CO2. Go for the 2 litre 148 brake horsepower diesel unit and the figures don't fall too far. Expect up to 39.8 miles to the gallon and 185 grams per kilometre. At the top of the range, the 174 horsepower diesel variant with its eight speed auto transmission manages up to 38.7 miles to the gallon and up to 190 grams per kilometer of CO2. The Pro Ace Verso is protected by Toyota's five year, 100,000 mile new vehicle warranty. Service intervals are up to two years or 25,000 miles for all models, apart from those with the 180 horsepower two litre engine, which uh, requires servicing annually or every 20,000 miles. This Pro Ace Verso might not have all the fancy electronic extras of its Peugeot Traveller and Citroen Space Tourer design stablemates, but it's likely that many family and business buyers won't care very much about that. We think they'll value this Toyota's affordable pricing and straightforward approach that includes slightly more economic operating costs and a lengthy five year, 100,000 mile warranty. Practical through and through, you see. Like its French stablemates and the other variant of this design Vauxhall's Vivaro Life, this Pro Ace Verso is much cheaper than the models that previously ruled the super large MPV segment, the Volkswagen Caravelle and the Mercedes V-Class. And in some ways it's easier to drive because it feels more compact on the road. Yet this Toyota is just as spacious inside with room for up to nine. 
if you've regular business clients to carry or your own private parking bay at the maternity unit, it might just be everything you really need. <laughs>